Hello everybody, Average Gamer here, and welcome to another episode of Supreme Ruler as China. So, what are we gonna do today? Well, today, we're gonna be playing the economy game. We're basically gonna try and get our get our government, our, our economy kind of going a little bit. Um, get our GDP up and things like that. Um, and get things going. One of the main things I want to do right now is also get our agriculture under control. We can get our agriculture under control, we can get our population better, higher the population, higher the unemployment, the cheaper it is for us to build shit. Um, the better our GDP will get. So, looking around, huh? let's see where we can build some good... Ooh, a little laggy. Looks like former Ukraine territory is pretty good for for the agriculture. I'm not saying Ukraine used to be like the uh, the breadbasket of the Soviet Union. We're just gonna... We're gonna do about a hundred of these things. There's no one here. It's pretty good. There we go. Another thing we're going to do is we're actually going to go around and basically disable a lot of these military facilities. I'm probably going to have a lot of them that are useless. Uh, we're going to leave that one there. We're definitely going to have a lot, though, that are just... Uh, let's say Large Rush. That's one of our big facilities. Uh, we got troops there, we have troops there. Should have a lot of these that just have nothing con connected to them. Nope. Really, why do we have all these non-active... Research. Oh, because I turned them off in the, one of the episodes prior to. Shit. Okay. Uh, so yeah, we have lots of research shit here to do as well, don't we? No, we don't. Jesus. We're definitely getting into a... Uh, a situation here where we're definitely ahead of the ball. We're not too worried about it right now, but rubber... Uh, timber, if I'm not mistaken, it's not a big issue for us, but we can build some, uh, some stuff over here. That's good. Okay, so. Oil. Gas. Um, as you can tell, not going to be a problem for us anymore. Um, we have more than enough oil reserves now in our country to last out just about anything. I mean, we're going to have to build up our, uh, our supply a little bit better. But once our supply is high enough... We'll be making more oil and shit like that. Oh, there's some stuff down here. Didn't even know about it. Uh, there's a spot here and here. There's a spot here. God, no wonder Russia has so much oil on the market in real life. Jesus. Uh, let's go here as well. We'll build those derricks in a minute. There's a nice oil field over here as well. I mean, we already weigh more than we need to. But right now, countries are buying it from us like crazy. Because we're probably the number one producer. Probably by far. Supplies haven't worked all its way down that way yet, or out that way. 
Yeah, our supply's still working its way. We'll build a a seaport there somewhere. And more stuff here. Well, let's build that port seaport right now. Build military. Scroll down here. Seaports. There. Little build and it'll fill like, that whole area. Coal. Working in a coal mine. Holy crap, crap, crap. Let's just slowly work our way around a little bit here. We're already in a really good spot when it comes to natural resources. The fact that Russia invaded us and basically has now given us free reign to do whatever we want with theirs. I, uh, I have no problems with taking full advantage of said resources. Might take a little while for our stuff to move that way. Lots of coal out this way. There we go, that should be enough. Metal. If we could double our metal, that would be pretty good. We want to do it only on... the really good spots right now. Though later on we'll get composite uh, ore from our research. And we can pretty much put the majority of these uh, facilities away and close them down. Jesus, that's a lot of ore here. If that was Estonia, I would have maxed that out ASAP and then sold it on the world market and subsidized my uh, my military with it. What? Tons of stuff up here too, Jesus. Nuclear, obviously this is the big important one. We want as much of this that we can utilize. That way we can build nuclear facilities or nuclear power plants. Right now we're just going to go for the darker spots. That way we can get our max return. It's only 1970, so nuclear power is not massively used around the world quite yet. But once it is, we'll be the number one supplier of nuclear material. And I think that's pretty good for now. Power, we're going to build a whole bunch of uh, hydro dams. We're actually going to set this the fastest. We're going to start building these hydro dams. We're only going to build 100 for the moment. We're good for consumer, industrial, uh, military, well, yeah, military, <laughs> uh, industrial capacity. Let's build another, what, 32? Yeah, 33 is fine. And there we go. Now we're just going to let things sit in right out and uh, decide. Actually, we're going to also cut our military production for the moment. as well. Oh, you B-52s. How beautiful you are. Well, we have 111 
facilities we can construct on Jesus. All right, so our construction for ground units is now zero. There we go. Our research is going. Yeah. So the whole plan for the next little bit is basically to... I mean, we're already rather self-sufficient as it is. The plan will be to kind of become more self-efficient, maximize all our resources, and basically try to sell them overseas. Try to you know, utilize third, uh, you know, third-party countries. So we can kind of be like, okay, well, hey, just so you know, you know, we'd be kind of interested in. Uh, Russians are trying to sell us petroleum. We'll take it. Let's look to see what we have in in spades here, and we can sell. Uh, consumer goods. We got sixty thousand. Oh, we got uh, one hundred twenty-three thousand in stock. Industrial goods. We have two point three million in stock. We have nineteen million military military goods. Um, with how militant Malaysia's gotten recently. I want lump sum of 28 million, but instead, how about we go with... ...12.4. Let's sell some of this, shall we? They want petroleum? Yeah, we'll keep selling you petroleum. Uh, let's go to oil. Because they the Malaysia probably has a large military force and they're all active right now. That's probably the reason why they're using up so much. Really. We're the highest producers and consumers. Uh, the U.S. is the top importer of oil. So, with that in mind... You know, it's... That's a lot of money, you assholes. It's about 2.5 million. Uh, Malaysia still wants more oil. Take it. Who wants coal? The U.S. is the highest coal importer. The highest metal ore importer. Oof. The only importer right now of uranium is the United States. Do we want to give them some uranium? You know what? Let's give them a little bit. Yeah, we immediately knocked off three other countries from exporting. Okay. No, you don't want that much? Will you give me then... that much? No, you probably just don't need it anymore. Military goods, top importers... West Germany, I can give you some. Uh, military goods, I'll give you that much. Just want fair price. You're not going to give me the fair price for it. Uh, okay, how about six million then? Uh, Bulgaria. You and I went to war earlier. It's worth 2.8 million. We're not going to get 2.8 million. Wait, it's 2,000 million. Uh, 177. Basically, the only thing to do in this game is to make the other countries happy is to get totally ripped off. I'll take those industrial goods. And I'll let you uh, buy petroleum from me. Greece, how you doing, buddy? Heard you wanted some military goods. You're not willing to give me, obviously, money's worth here. So how about you give me that much? No? That much? 
Industrial goods, yeah, okay. Poland, you and I went to war a while ago. No? Yeah. So designs are completed. So we are going to be running a deficit and really shitty economy for the next little bit. Mainly because we're going to be in such a position where we're not manufacturing that much shit. Most of the most of our industrial capacity for the next little bit is going to be going into building all these facilities, which is going to be you know, pretty hard. Pretty hard. Uh, consumer stuff. We are making so much more, so much uranium. It's not funny anymore. Top importers of electricity. India. How you doing? We have 5 million kilowatts in stock. Would you be willing to take it at face value? No, you wouldn't. How about there? No? How about here? Nope. Best offer? 74 million. Fuck it. I'll do it. And Japan. Yeah, fine. I'll give it to you. They're gonna give us more oil. Uh, yeah, okay. So yeah, so this is just gonna be a quick little episode. So I'm gonna put a pause in here. In the next episode, I might fast forward a couple years just to kind of get things a little more solidified and, and whatever. Uh, one thing I'm thinking of doing um, over the next little bit is kind of creating our own little power block of, uh, of allies. Um, or even maybe, I wouldn't say trying to take on Europe, but at least, you know, trying to put a little bit of pressure on them. Maybe uh, mobilize our military a little bit and put it along the border of Poland and Romania. Hungary and Czech and the Czechoslovakia. What I was actually thinking of doing, if I can bring up map loyalty. So when you click on here and bring up, oh yeah, oh okay, the way the game's set up. What I was thinking of doing is obviously invading Europe, um, giving e pretty much everyone their own independence. And making a total mess out of Europe. Um, another idea is to come down here and go to war with Iran, Iraq, Turkey, and Syria, just to give Kurdistan its own uh, its own independence. So you'll have Kurdistan in here, and then you know everyone will be kind of broken up in uh, in different regions. Um, I mean, that was an idea. It's basically to go in and just slowly kind of disrupt and cause problems. It's going to look right. I mean, some... Some of these borders are kind of... I mean, like, there's another country right in here. It would be kind of cool if all these countries were, like, if every country was broken up. Um, ha! Hell, go to war with Canada and get in, and release Quebec as its own province. Its own country. Um, the plan will be to actually go into Europe, you know, knock over some anthills a little bit, and in place governments that we want. So, for example, take on all these Eastern Bloc countries including uh, Yugoslavia and everyone down here. Take them all out. And when we're done, give them all their independence again. But all these countries here in Eastern Europe will have governments that we want in power. Um, so they'll all have communist governments. Kind of a good thing, right? I mean, we're already NATO... I think we're NATO... This is we're NATO aligned. Um, give me one second... 
Yeah, so we're on a kind of a line with NATO, mainly due to the fact that we went to war with Russia. That's the main thing, right? Which is kind of funny. We're a communist country, but we're pro-West. Um, in actuality, we're actually trying to create our own little power by... Turn that off. So, plan one for an invasion. Built up a massive force along the Eastern European, along uh, the Polish, Romanian, Hungarian, and, Czechoslo and the Czechoslovakian border. At the right time, declare war and just just roll right over them. Just take them all out. Um, one thing I was thinking of doing, so we can be kind of you know seditious, is to go to war in Tunisia, capture Tunisia, and turn it into basically a part of our country. We're going to annex it. Then we're going to build some air force bases there, and the plan will be to fl overfly. So get some of our aircraft in the Ukraine in Ukraine and Kaliningrad up here and have them flying from there all the way down and then back. Just have them go there and back. And that way we'll actually get to see large areas of, of the enemy countries and uh, we'll get to see where their troops are. That's one idea. Um, another idea is just mess our troops along the border and throw AWACS up. Uh, so have our AWACS running just along the border and uh, seeing what, uh, what, what they can do. That's one idea. Another idea is to invade Somaliland here, or Somalia, as a foothold into Africa. We can have troops down here, and we can actually, you know, invade slowly further south, or even go further north. I'm still surprised. Um, oh no, they do have said that. Okay. I wasn't too sure if South Africa had... Why is its capital up here? Why are you telling me your capital's up here? There's nothing there. Oh, there it is. Pretoria is your capital? That was Cape Town. And then Joburg is what here? No. Joburg should be near the... So I mean, jo or Johannesburg should be around here somewhere if I wasn't mistaken. Maybe it's, I don't know. Maybe they didn't include it in the game. Maybe I don't know. I'll have to Google it. It's been a while since I've looked at a map of uh, South Africa. It's where my ex-brother-in-law is from. But anyways, so that's two plans. Plan number one: get involved in Africa via Somaliland. Plan number two: invade Tunisia in Africa, which also gave us a foothold in Africa, and also would double as a um, basically a uh, air bases to hit Southern Europe as well as to do overflights over Poland, Czechoslovakia, Italy, Austria, Austria, Yugoslavia, Romania, Bulgaria, and uh, Albania. A country that I always keep forgetting because they're just getting right there. But anyways, until next time everybody, see you then. See you on the battlefield.